this is Riding With Re. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. We have a jam packed vlog ahead of us today. So let me give you a little sense of what we're getting into. Firstly, I show you a little fall I had in the arena the other day. Nothing to worry about, just an accident, but it did give me the push I needed to go and get myself a new race safe body protector. Luckily, my local saddlery, saddlery and gun room allowed me to film my fitting. So I'm gonna show you what happens at a race safe footing. We then move on to a clinic with the incredible Andy Thomas, a physio who has previously worked with Team UK, Team US equestrian teams and Olympic equestrians and 12,000 other riders. And he focuses on asymmetries in riders. I was able to film some of my clinic, so I'll show you that. And finally, we have our first dressage competition away from home, where, as you might've seen from the thumbnail, we walked away with first place. I vlog some of that and take you with me. So it's a jam packed video. Let's get straight into it. So I've just arrived at my local saddlery and I'm finally getting a race safe fitting which I've wanted for a really long time. Hi, it's me. You're probably wondering why I'm getting a race safe right now. For that, we need to go back a few days. 24 hours before. Stood here, cold hosing, out of an abundance of caution, but our schooling session didn't go to plan. We were cantering over some poles. I said go right. We said are we going left? Got a bit confused, got tangled up and fell over. So I've had a little tumble. But luckily the school is much softer than the uh, fun ride. Yep, it's another sack the rider moment. I'm gonna start collecting these. So we were in the school, we were trotting, cantering around. There were some poles set up. So I was like, great, we'll do a bit of pole work. I was taking it easy, wasn't asking too much of anything. We did some lovely trot to canter after poles. So anyway, we came down this set of poles um, in the middle and we'd already done it once to the left. So this time I thought, okay, well, we'll go to the right. I didn't realize that Woody landed on his left lead leg and I asked him to go right and he couldn't change quick enough and I didn't realize and therefore unfortunately he lost his balance and I fell off. Totally my fault. He tried to do what I asked him to which was to go to the right and the only way that he could do that without losing his balance was to drop his shoulder and that was something my coach explained to me when I sent her the video and I was like ah look what happened. So you know it's a learning experience. I'm fine. He's fine. Time to get a race safe. So I've just arrived at my local saddlery and I'm finally getting a race safe fitting, which I've wanted for a really long time. I've got my saddle here because they advised that I bring it with me and I asked them if I could film it and they said it should be fine. So hopefully I'm gonna take you along and show you what happens during a race safe fitting. If you don't know what a race safe is, it is a body protector. It's primarily used in racing, but now has expanded to other areas of the sport and it's one of the best for safety protection in the industry. Um, and I just find that they're meant to be incredibly comfortable and lightweight. And I find the one I have at the moment is a little bit bulky and can kind of impede on my movement. So I'm upgrading myself to a race safe. Let's go. Yeah, but not a race safe. Okay, so let me start off with like a medium size. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Oh, before I start doing mm -hmm. anything, how does it feel for you, first of all? Um, like fairly loose. Yeah, it looks quite loose around the sides. Yeah. Let me see if I've got a small. Yeah. Oh, small. Yeah, see when you ride, you do always ride because you've got a base layer. Um, uh, yeah. Well, oh, do I? Or oh, yeah, do you? Um, Sort of depends. Sometimes I have a hoodie on, but usually at the moment I'm riding in this. Yeah. Okay, so what we suggest is you always ride with a base layer. If okay. You're in the colder months. Yeah. And then you put a coat over the top of it. Oh, okay. Just because we like to fit it as close to your skin as possible. So they all have different fronts as well, so to cover your ribs. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah, that definitely feels more snug. Yeah. There's a little bit of space up here, but I don't know if that's... Yeah, so are you happy to need to start like... Yeah, yeah. So I'm just gonna do it up the side. Mm -hmm. So basically, like that was, this is on the loose as it goes. Okay. If these don't pop off at the end, don't worry, you can just pop them back on. Can you forget back of your hand? Mm -hmm. I'm here for way of our severs, like underneath it. Yeah. Is it covered by the blocks? 
like against the last one, I'd say. So just above the last one? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. We yeah. can do one about one more. So we want like two, three fingers like at the back of the saddle. We don't want it like loads. Yeah. And um, if you put, like, if I put my hands there, you've got mm -hmm. about two and a half fingers. So basically it's enough. So when you're jumping off, you go forward. But if you're going down the hill or something, you lean back, you don't want it to get the back. Yeah, so which and then it, mine does. And then it pushes up the mm. bridge structure and then it's not keeping you safe. And then obviously once you've worked a few times it might loosen off so just make sure it's always tight. Okay, cool. Well, oh. I'm happy with that. And this is the Pro Vent pro, pro Vent 3. Yeah, it's level 3 one. Great, cool. Um, do you want to keep it on for a couple of minutes? Just yeah. To make sure you're happy with it. Yeah, cool. And then we can always just double check it and make sure it's yeah. good. Yeah. Cool. You have joined me on a beautiful morning in Surrey. It is only half seven and already the sun is shining and I'm in my vest. It's about 17 degrees. And this morning at 9 a.m. I'm really excited that Woody and I have a clinic with Andy Thomas. Andy Thomas is a physiotherapist who has previously worked with Team GB, Olympic athletes and over 22,000 other riders. And his focus is asymmetries in riders. So he basically looks to see how unbalanced you are on the horse. So Woody and I are gonna have a private assessment, which Andy and his team have kindly said I can film part of. So I'll be showing you what happens and then I guess we'll see how unbalanced we are. So Andy Thomas, I set up my pivot in the corner of the school and then I just got on with the clinic. Much as I do wanna film these sessions for you guys obviously I want to concentrate on the riding so I let this one roll and it was pretty good there were parts of it that it missed when Andy was stood in front of it etc but I'll take you through so Andy Thomas when I tell you I was so nervous for this clinic which is so silly but I just kept thinking oh my goodness he works with all these Olympic athletes and he works with Charlotte de Jardin and all these amazing people and I'm just here on my little horse um, but he was incredible he made me feel so comfortable he asked me a little bit about Woody and how long we'd been together and then any injuries I had. And then he just asked me to warm up as I normally would, which honestly was terrifying. So I was trotting and cantering around like, look your best, <laughs> be great. And he was just standing and watching. So what he's doing there, I guess, is observing us and seeing how we move without any changes. We then stopped and had a little chat. I got off Woody and my coach held him and then we did some off horse work which I haven't shown because obviously Andy works very very hard and has years of experience to build up his techniques so I don't want to give them all away but if you're interested I've put the link to his website in my description so you can check out one of his seminars. So he did a few things off the horse and then we got back on. He watched us again and then he put on some tape in different places and some bands in different places. And these are supposed to sort of help highlight imbalances or help us to realize when we should be doing something in particular like staying in the saddle deeper, keeping our arms back more, using our core more. And as he built up the different techniques we were using, I felt the changes in the way that Woody went. Um, and then afterwards we got off the horse again, we had a chat and he gave me a personalized list of exercises to do before every ride, which are now taped up on the inside of my box outside Woody Stable with the band that he gave me. So I'm really excited to try these techniques out. And when I had my lesson with my coach the next day, she told me to visualize the bands and imagine that they were still there. And the next day after I went to the dressage, I did do the same thing. I was going around in my dressage test, imagining these bands holding my body in a certain way. And when I watched the video back, I really felt like it was possibly my best position yet. And I, I think that this physio session had a lot to do with that. He also put me in touch with a saddler called Louisa Cuomo, who I've mentioned on my Instagram, and said that she, he would really recommend her for saddles. She does a huge technique of things with um, fitting horses to the right saddle and riders to the right saddle. So I uh, got booked in with her and I've asked if she would mind me filming the session, so stay tuned. And if I can share that, I of course will. I am sorry, the last few videos have started in my car. I'll have to switch it up at some point, but this is generally how I start my day. I've just arrived at the yard and we are going to our first competition away from home and my first competition in a box as in a horse box in like I, I don't even know <clears throat> years a very long time I'm very excited Woody felt incredible in my lesson yesterday my, my coach was really pleased I was really pleased um, and even more better than that I don't feel really nervous today I'm talking fast but I'm just excited but I remember the first time I came on here and I talked about an event that I had the next day or the morning of 
and I was so nervous I could like barely get my words out and that today I feel okay I'm going into it being like no expectations we're just getting out there and seeing how he goes but I do have the confidence that he's feeling really well so I'm gonna try and vlog it as much as I can I don't have anyone to film my test so I'll have to skip that bit but I'm gonna take you with me and hopefully show you what we get up to let's go and say hello to Woody and crack on it's about it's 20 past eight. We don't actually have to leave until like half 11 today, but I just wanted plenty of time to, I haven't cleaned my tack or anything and I need to bath Woody or get, you know, bits off him. It was, it's been raining like for yesterday, it rained all day. So he was covered in mud. I need to plait. It's an informal dressage, which means we don't have to wear like full show outfits. It's supposed to be sort of an introduction to the sport. Um, but I asked if I could plait because that's when I get nervous is when I start plaiting. So they said, yes, I could. Otherwise I'm wearing my white show shirt with no stock and I'm wearing my half halt breggings because I thought they were a really nice sort of halfway house between smart, sort of smart casual. Um, and they look lovely. So I'm going to wear those and yeah, let's go. So good morning, you. I hung his rug up on there because it was soaking from yesterday's rain. I come in and it's on the floor and I think it's got wee on it. Horses, good morning. Cherub, how are we? Looking quite, quite clean, sort of. Got some work to do, but... Oh, yeah, okay, maybe not. Maybe we should just plait and then deal with the rest later. Yeah, are you excited? For sure, away from home. Yee! So I've done my long bands. <laughs> good show and I'm gonna do the long plaits in a moment and then I'll go back and band them all up in a little bit I always do it like this so that I can see the different sections and I'm not pulling in different hairs the bottom of his mane is really just a bit scraggly and hard to plait so I'm just gonna have to bunch that up and make sure it looks sort of fairly nice you're a good boy you're gonna be so handsome long plaits are done you can see what I mean about the bottom of his mane there but the rest of it Looks pretty good. I'm getting quite good at plaiting now. I've done it a few times and I think they're starting to look quite smart. Giving Woody a quick half bath because he's he's got patches of muck. So I'm just trying to patch clean. Lovely Woody is about as clean as I think we're going to get today. He was a very good boy, weren't you? So he's just drying off and then I'll go and clean my tack whilst he has a little snack before we go. So we're actually running really well at a time. Woody's just over there with a hay net while he dries. And I've just cleaned my tack, so my saddle, my bridle, and my boots there. Um, and I'll show you what I've got in my little bucket to go. And then I'm gonna take Woody for some grass since we've got the time. So here's my little bucket. I've got my hat and my gloves, obviously. I've got this little old Kiehl's jar inside it. I have plaiting bands underneath and then treats and then a spare hair tie. Then I've got sun cream for Woody's nose, fly spray, power, power phaser, which is really good, um, sweat scraper, dandy brush, comb, and scissors just in case. Just here having some grass. We've got Star here as well, who hangs out in this little area. <laughs> you can have some grass. Oh. Good boy. And I can finish my tea. Win-win. I'm gonna roll these pots up, plats up just before we go. Just put Woody's plats up. So he's all ready. Finished plaiting Woody. Just taking first the stuff over to the lorry. Just in the back of the lorry. Saddles there, bridles there. Numbers in the bag with the ears just to keep it clean. Nearly ready. We are running so ahead of time. I've just finished my breakfast. Woody's just hanging out. I'm feeling good. I'm not feeling too nervous. I'm really proud because I really thought I would feel more nervous than this and I actually feel, I feel okay. I've got butterflies and I always get nervous about like finding stuff when I get to the venue, like where everything is, warm up, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, feel good. Just walking down to the box. All ready. Now we get on. Couldn't film loading because I don't have my tripod, but he loaded perfectly. No hesitation at all this time. He's just getting better and better. Hi, Wood. You're a good boy. Got a nice shady spot. A little bit of time before our club. Just about to get on. Definitely a little bit more nervous now. I've got butterflies, but I'm just like breathing in and out. No pressure. It's fine. And you are looking so handsome. Yeah. 
So as I mentioned, Lynn very kindly did film our test, so I'm able to give you a rundown as I do normally with our test marks. So this is prelim two from British Dressage. At A, enter in working trot, proceed down the centre line without halting. At C, track left. So we got an eight for this, and the comment was positive straight entry. So we're tracking left at C, and we're doing a 20 metre circle at E. I'm so proud of him, so proud of how he looks. Brand new arena, so much to look at, and he just stays with me, and I'm so proud of my position too. I was super aware of the size and shape of my circle because we got marked down for that last time. And we got a 7.5 for this, good size and shape circle, pleasing rhythm. So we're carrying on all the way down to C, where we're tracking right. Sorry, F, X, C, it's a weird one. So we're going F to X down the diagonal, then X to C. So it's almost like a sort of bend. And we got a 7.5 for this movement, but the comment says a little confusion at C from the horse. So he wasn't quite sure there. We're replicating this. We're doing a 20 meter circle at E. B, sorry. Not doing very well at this. I got an eight for this as well. Just says accurate, good outline. Good boy, Woody. And then we're doing similar to what we just did before. So B A A B F A K working trot, K X C working trot, and then C track left. So this is essentially the trot part of our test, and coming up is going to be the walk part, followed by the canter part. So we got an eight for this movement as well, which was really lovely. Lots of eights on this sheet, which is amazing. H to B, change the rein in medium walk. And there was a transition to medium walk there between H and C, which we got a six for. Lacked throughness on the transition. And you'll notice on this test, we got quite a few marks down on our transitions. You'll also notice there, I forgot we were going to B. I thought we were going to X. I had to correct myself quickly. B to E, we're doing a half circle right 20 metres in diameter, a free walk and a long rein. I actually got a 7.5 for that medium walk steps, and she said pleasing walk steps. We got a 7 for this movement, she said I threw the reins away, but he had a good stretch, which is fair, I kind of gave him too much. Then we are doing a E to M change the rein in medium walk, and we got an 8 for this movement, she says good relaxation. Now, between M and C, we're picking up working trot, and between H and C, we're picking up working canter. I got eight for both of these transitions. She said, obedient. H, E, K, A, working canter, circle left at A in 20 meters. I got an eight for this movement. Got a seven for my circle. She just says, going a little downhill on the circle, you can see there he's just a bit on his forehand. If you imagine there's a diagonal line running down the horse, ours is looking downhill towards his nose, and that's not necessarily what we want. Transition to working trot between A and F. F to B working trot, B to E, change the rein. Got a 7.5 for this transition and an 8 for my change of rein. Between H and C, working canter. Circle at A, C, sorry. <laughs> Good job I actually know the test when I'm riding it, isn't it? Um, got a six for our transition to canter. It was a terrible transition and the judge saw that. But we got an eight for our circle, which was lovely. F, transition to working trot. You'll see it's very abrupt. And she gives us a six because we sort of fell into trot. And then it's down the centre line. Uh, and there's a progressive transition to halt between X and G, which thankfully we redeemed ourselves on and got 8.5 for a square halt, which I've never even got in my schooling, so super happy. I am so pleased, he was so good. And once I started warming up, my, um, my nerves kind of like died away. I thought he worked really nicely. There was one pants, pants transition in front of the judge, but we'll work on that. I was so pleased with him for the first time out. We went in the school and there was like mirrors, poles everywhere and he was just he was so great i'm so pleased woody's here with his little perm taking his plats out now i'm gonna go film lynn so here is a little bit of lynn doing her test and then we linked up together to find out how we got on we've got our score we got 75.6 percent 
how he won. You are the best boy, which means we've qualified for the sunshine tour if we want to go. I'm so pleased. I'm so pleased. We're all ready to go home. Just got back and taken his travel boots off. He's going to go in tonight, have a relax, and then straight out in the field tomorrow. You're the best boy. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. Next week, who knows what it will be. I need to do an updated yard tour as well as a couple of other things. So do stay tuned next Friday, 4pm BST. See you there.